That season, the Cincinnati Bengals went to their first Super Bowl, and Marvin Lewis began his coaching career. Started out in charge of linebackers at his alma mater, Idaho State, and the rookie coach helped that team win the NCAA Division I-AA National Championship. That's the Idaho State Bengals. So Lewis has good karma going for him, which is nice, because when since he's involved, there's a clown for every silver lining. They can brag of more Pro Bowlers than the Tennessee Titans. Lorenzo Neal to none, but even the best Bengal knows the score. It's frustrating. You want to go out in the streets and have people look at you. Yeah, you hear it, you know. God, the Bengals, the Bongos, whatever. And, and, you know, people, all they do is negative. It's nothing positive about us because our performance doesn't merit it. Which sort of sums up the Cincinnati story. Every time an optimist sees the glass half fullback, the Bengals show that it's actually half empty. Marvin Lewis has some tremendous talent. Neil got to Hawaii blocking for a three-time Pro Bowler. Corey Dillon, who is great when he's not tripping over his lineman on fourth and goal to win the game. On the other side of the ball, middle linebacker Takeo Spikes is young, athletic, and averaged more than 113 tackles during his first five seasons. And he's a free agent. The coach will find no shortage of confidence, always a staple quality in winning teams. Chad Johnson guaranteed victory twice, but he only went one and one on backing up those boasts. Of course, for a team that last finished 500 in 1996, it's actually solid. The Bengals have boatloads of cash to buy talented players. They're currently $10.4 million under the cap. Now if they could just get owner Mike Brown to open his wallet and spend it. There's a brand spanking new home, Paul Brown Stadium, where they won just a single game during the inaugural season, set a record for lowest attendance each of the last three games, and the county may file a lawsuit to get a refund because the team's so crummy. One of Lewis's first orders of business will be helping select the first player in the draft. The Bengals have spent a dozen years drafting high. So much potential for disaster. The uh, Bengals have selected Dan Wilkinson, defensive tackle, Ohio State University. With the first pick in the draft, the Cincinnati Bengals have selected running back from Penn State, Kajana Carter. Yeah, if you're the Bengals, the top pick in success don't often cross paths. With Heisman winner Carson Palmer available, it'd just be too cruel to him to carry on about QB's David Klingler and Achilles Smith. So Marvin Lewis, welcome to the Bengals world. Good luck changing its strategy.